I've previously done a video going over every time that Batman has wielded a power ring, a link to which is in this video's description. But this video is instead going to focus on Batman's rogues gallery and go over every time that a Batman villain has worn a lantern ring, the Penguin. In the TV show The Batman, there is a team up episode with the Green Lantern Hal Jordan. Now, normally when it comes to DC's power rings, a person has to have a deep emotional connection with the emotion of the ring in order to be able to use it. However, in this show, it seems that the rings just work for whoever picks them up. This is the case with the Penguin, who happens across the Green Lantern ring and is able to use it to go on a crime spree. Ironically, Green Lantern had actually sent the ring to Batman for safekeeping before Penguin grabbed it while it was en route. And although he's not great with it, it's still the most powerful weapon in the universe, so he gets quite a lot of stolen cash with it. Though of course when Sinestro turns up looking for the ring, he quickly gives it up, and Batman manages to grab it and wields it briefly before it runs out of power. Two-Face In the Elseworlds story, In Darkest Night, Batman gets a Green Lantern ring instead of Hal Jordan, and so Sinestro later becomes his enemy when Batman reveals to the Guardians of the Universe that he's abusing his power and thus Sinestro is kicked out of the Green Lantern Corps. Now Sinestro later returns with a yellow fear lantern ring and he merges minds with Joe Chill, the man who killed Batman's parents. He does this in order to get his revenge on Batman. Which doesn't really make much sense because there's not really any real need for him to merge minds, it's just kind of a cool idea, so just go with it. And then later on he does something to Harvey Dent's face and mind, cracking him in half and creating this universe version of Two-Face, who is named Binary Star and he wields a Sinestro core ring as well. Catwoman Also in this story, Catwoman wields a Star Sapphire Lantern Ring, given to her via Sinestro, as he is creating a team to take out Batman with. And though Catwoman is not, strictly speaking, a member of Batman's rogues gallery, as she's kind of become more of a member of the Bat family these days, we're still counting it, as she has been a regular enemy on and off over the years, and in this particular case, she is part of his rogues gallery. Catwoman also has some Lantern Corps skin mods in the Arkham game series, including both a Green Lantern Corps costume and a Sinestro Corps costume, though she has none of the Lantern Corps powers of course. And there is also a Sinestro Corps skin for Deathstroke in the Batman Arkham Origins video game, though again it's only a mod and he has no extra powers. Scarecrow in the comic event Blackest Night, we see the creation of both the Death and Life Lantern Corps, and an all-out war between the Black Lantern Corps and pretty much everyone who's alive in the universe breaks out. And during this war, a lot of characters get to wield a lot of different power rings, and one of the best ideas in this is Scarecrow wielding a yellow Lantern Corps ring of fear, which is such a perfect idea, it's rather amazing that it hasn't happened sooner, as Scarecrow is literally perfect to be a Sinestro Corps member, since the requirements for joining are being able to instill great fear in others, and that is Scarecrow's whole deal. And another main part of the Blackest Night comic event was the Black Lantern Corps rings themselves. You see, these are able to latch onto the dead and basically bring them back as zombies. Although it's not actually the person in there, the ring is actually in control of their body, except that the rings have the corpse's memories and any superpowers that they had had in real life. And in the Blackest Night event, a lot of villains come back wearing the Black Lantern rings including The Ventriloquist, Blockbuster, Deacon Blackfire, Solomon Grundy, Magpie, King Snake, who is Bane's father, The Trigger Twins, Arnold Etchinson, KG Beast, and Tony Zuko, who as we all know of course, killed Dick Grayson's parents. Harley Quinn In Harley's Little Black Book, issue number two, an alien ship crash lands on Earth, and two civilians search the wreck and find free lands and rings one green, one red, and one black. And the red and black ones later combine into one ring. And the guys put it on Weebay, which is the DC version of eBay, and Harley buys it in an online auction. And when she wears it, she turns even more insane and evil and goes on a villainous spree, helping villains get away from the cops and then killing them when they piss her off. And she also has an arm wrestling match with Green Lantern over the city, until eventually some other aliens turn up looking for the rings and they take the red and black one off of Harley Quinn. And Green Lantern and Harley Quinn then team up to take out the alien ship, as the aliens plan to blow up the Earth. But it ends up with her falling back to Earth with an unconscious Green Lantern. So in order to stay alive, she takes off his ring and wears it to stop them from going splat on the Earth's surface. She then constructs a giant green hammer and destroys the alien ship with it. And then she gets Green Lantern to a doctor and gives him his ring back, stealing a cheeky kiss from him along the way. 
And some of you may be wondering how a black and red ring can join. The answer is, it's Harley Quinn's color scheme for a costume. This isn't a real ring, they didn't create a new lantern core, it was just for a bit of style so it matched her costume, nothing more. And finally, in the Smallville tie-in comic book, the fear entity Parallax comes to Earth to feed on humans, and he rains down yellow lantern rings on Arkham Asylum, in order to create an army, and five bat villains get fear rings. These are Bane, Man Bat, Firefly, Mr. Freeze, and Poison Ivy. And one of the rings also picks Batman as a candidate, as he can instill great fear in others. The good guys then use this yellow ring to essentially hack into the ring network and reboot all of the yellow rings, turning them off for a short time and freeing all those who are wearing them. Because in this universe, the fear rings pretty much take control of their minds. And that is every time that a Batman villain has wielded a power ring. Which time was your personal favourite? And are there any other times that you know of where a Bat villain has wielded a power ring? If so, then please let us know in the comments. And I'd just like to say a quick thank you to those who made this video possible by donating to the Needle Mouse Productions page on Patreon. And as always, thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe, share, like and comment.